Hey everybody, Brandon here from CAD Intentions. And in today's video, I'm gonna be walking you guys through how to add dimensions in a couple different ways, uh, as well as how to save you time when you're dimensioning your drawings. Uh, I hope you guys like it. Before we jump in, I wanna remind you guys that I have an AutoCAD productivity course and webinar available. I'm gonna put the link up above as well as down below in the uh, description. I hope you guys check it out. It's on sale for subscribers and viewers like you guys using that link. Uh, it's an hour packed full of productivity tips, tricks, and kind of workflows within AutoCAD that are gonna save you guys a ton of time and just make you look good when drafting. But let's get started with today's video and jump right in. All right, let's jump right in. Uh, so how do you add a dimension to your drawing? Well, to start, you're gonna want to have made sure you drew your drawing at one-to-one -one scale or true uh, size within your drawing. This makes everything easier and you can always change scales and scale things up and down when you get to your viewports. I've got a bunch of videos on that if you check out the channel. Uh, I'll put a couple in the link in the description below as well. But assuming everything's drawn to the correct size, you're going to want to go over to the annotate tab in the ribbon up top here. And then under the uh, dimension box here are all of your options. You've got things like the dimension styles where if you hit this button here you can create new styles I've just got the defaults right now uh, but by going new you can come in here create a copy or a new one completely and then this is where you've got all of your settings on how your dimensions are going to be displayed including text sizes units the symbols used uh, line extensions all of that we're not going to get into that today we're simply gonna just show you guys how to add and kind of move around your dimensions. Also in the dimension area here, you've got the other options like which layer is going to be used, some express quick tools on the right here. And then this one here is kind of like a uh, smart dimension. You can simply click it and it's gonna dimension objects uh, that you kind of hover over here. So you can see I've hovered over this line. It's just gonna dimension it, you could click and then it's gonna place a dimension and ask you kind of where to set it. So you can just move this around. You can also uh, use this dimension button here to quickly dimension various objects without having to choose an exact dimension style. You see by hovering through these spots, it's gonna give me different options like the angle here uh, or the outside angle or the length. Um, dimension this quick dimension or smart dimension is gonna be what you're using the majority of the time. Another cool one is quick dimension. Uh, it's gonna let you chain a bunch of objects together and keep everything in a line. Uh, this is great for floor plans where you're dimensioning the outer walls. And I'm gonna show you that really quickly as well. So we're gonna choose quick dimension. It's gonna ask you for the geometry. So this is your line that you want to dimension. So I'm just going to choose all of these outer wall lengths and it's going to quickly dimension all of these in a single uh, dimension pullout. When you've collect or selected them all, simply hit enter. And now this is going to keep everything aligned and clean, placing a dimension for each line. You can see down here that this one has placed overlapping with the other. To fix that, you can simply select it and use the grip to move that uh, dimension somewhere else. I'm gonna snap it there and drop it down below the three foot dimension. So you can see quick dimension is super fast and a huge time saver when needing to quickly dimension your floor plans. Beyond that, you've got the typical options for dimensions by hitting this down arrow here you're going to be able to choose the uh, specific type. So if I wanted to just uh, dimension these weird angles over here, I choose angular and you're gonna choose two objects and simply place the dimension wherever you'd like it. So along with the specific dimension types with this drop down here, which include diameter, radius, you see here it's gonna add the radius rather than the diameter that was already there. Uh, linear and aligned, which are pretty self-explanatory. Aligned is gonna follow the alignment of whatever your line 
uh, is, whereas linear is going to be horizontal or vertical, regardless of the angle of your line, as you can see in the example that pops up there. Hitting the down drop down arrow here or the flyout, it's going to give you a few more options, uh, including how to justify the text. It's going to let you rotate your text as well, set it to an oblique extension line, as well as create a tolerance uh, dimension as well. And then up on the right here, as I mentioned, you've got some kind of quick tools, including adding a break uh, or jog, as well as a few others, adjusting space, breaking them. Uh, updating and reassociating broken uh, dimensions if you've moved, deleted, or adjusted a line and the dimension is no longer snapping to it. Uh, but in a quick overview, that's how the dimensions can be placed or added within your drawing. Uh, hopefully that's helped you guys. Definitely play around with them, change up some of the settings to how you like them to look, including the units and arrow sizes if you're not happy with how they're coming out. Uh, and as always, if you guys have any questions at all, leave them down in the comments below uh, or requests for other videos. I try to answer as many as I can, and I've got a bunch of videos coming up so I can maybe answer one in a new video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button down below. Uh, thank you guys for watching and cheers. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, be sure to check out my last video right here. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe up here to make sure you're up to date and you see all my new videos. Thanks again. Cheers.